Black Friday or Cyber Monday? Should you hold off until Cyber Monday if you see a deal on Black Friday and you think you might be able to get it cheaper? Should you just buy everything on Thanksgiving? That's what this video is all about. Before I jump into the specifics, if you haven't already seen techradar.com forward slash Black Friday, techradar.com forward slash Cyber Monday. That's where all of the deals that we've found across the web in the US and the UK have been squished into one place. We're updating it all the time so you'll be able to find the hottest deals out right there. Now these two days, so Black Friday has been around since the 1950s. It was introduced so that it got people in the spirit of shopping ahead of the Christmas shopping rush. So it's really, really all about getting people into the festive shopping spirit. Cyber Monday was introduced in the early 2000s because people weren't too comfortable with the idea of online shopping. And it was a day to promote online shopping and get rid of some of the stock that wasn't necessarily sold on Black Friday. So Black Friday in the last kind of decade has always been the retail experience whereas Cyber Monday has been the online retail experience. And so in the US, you've got these three days of sales. We don't have Thanksgiving sales here in the UK, but what's happened is Black Friday, Cyber Monday, they've all merged into one long weekend of sales here in the UK. So depending on where you are, if you're in the US and you see an amazing deal on Thanksgiving, go for it. If you're in the UK, you see an amazing deal on Black Friday, I'd say the same, go for it. Don't wait until Cyber Monday because all of these deals are only good as long as stocks last. So you wanna make sure you get what you want and don't miss out. So the next question is, are you an in-store shopper? If you are an in-store shopper and all you care about is saving the maximum amount of cash, then you would probably be better off going into stores specifically on Black Friday. Reason being on Black Friday, retailers who have in-store promotions mainly care about footfall. As a result, they'll be prepared to discount products to the point where they actually make a loss so that people who buy one item at discount can also buy other items as well and they'll recoup the profits somewhere else. If you're not fussed on a 5% or so saving though and you want to buy online then Black Friday and Cyber Monday are similar in terms of which one's going to get you the better deal but not always. Items that might be better discounted on Black Friday include older generation iPhones and iPads for example the iPhone 6s or 7s and the older iPad Pro. What you can also expect to pretty big savings on Android phones across the board whether you're getting them offline or on contract. As for items that are better discounted on Cyber Monday, it's things like kitchen appliances, your less sexy tech. So I guess your laptops, two, three, four, five hundred dollar laptops that are just there for utility. In addition, if you're thinking about booking a holiday, this is probably when you want to do it as travel and hotel costs tend to drop the most on Cyber Monday as well. That said, there are savings to be had throughout the Black Friday weekend, with a lot of the key ones ending around the 27th of November, such as 50% off a purchase on Google Play of any movie. That's a pretty sweet one that I've spotted that I will definitely be taking advantage of. Hopefully you found this video useful and enjoyable and you feel better served when it comes to navigating through the weird and wonderful world of savings dates. Thanks for watching TechRadar. And remember, make sure you check out techradar.com forward slash Black Friday or forward slash Cyber Monday, depending on when you're watching this for the very latest deals.